afternoon. Well, I wanted to uh, show you some more ideas about what you can do with the template that I have up on my Etsy, in my Etsy shop. And that should be below the Step Back Shop with capital S. And here's some things that you can you can go ahead and print it onto some eco dyed paper. And you could put two of those together. And, or you could put one on one side and then you could put just a plain solid color on the other. Like so. For an inside. Or, like I said, two of the same. Then you could also print it onto some paper that has a pretty background. What is it called? Um, a scrap of paper? Sorry, my brain. It's been in two different places. Oh, that's just because I messed up. Don't pay attention to that. But that's what you could do um, and use those. That would be really pretty. And now I'm going to show you how I put the ones I made the other day. I'm going to put them into the creation book we're working on. What I want to do is have them staggered. One here, one there, one there, like that. All wiggity woggity, wiggity, wiggity wonkity, or something like that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to make two holes. Kind of like you're putting a binding in your junk journals. Like so. I'm thread my needle. And I have embroidery thread here. You can use whatever string you have. Let's see if I can get it through the big old hole. I think I did it. Oh, I missed one. I missed a strand. Okay, stay in there, you. Should have started from the other end. Okay, so. Here we go. I'm going to get it where I want it. Let's see. I want it like that. I'm going to hold it in place. And you don't have to do this. You can put it in a pocket. That would be nice too. Because that's the hole I want. I'm going to go in from the top though. I think that's how I want to do it. Let me think. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking on this for a while. My son Zeke was instrumental in helping me come up with this plan. So shout out to Ezekiel Herrig. He has music on YouTube if you'd like to go listen to his channel named Ezekiel Herrig. Okay. And then I'm gonna make sure I got this right. I got my one hole there. And then I'm gonna poke through to the other hole. So I can figure out where I put it. I just kinda have to eyeball it. That's the way I'm doing it anyway. There's a better way, you go ahead. Okay. Now I'm going to tie it in the middle. I don't want too much to tie with. Just a little bit. Alright. Now I'm going to cut that off. and tie it. Always take your string and go sideways like that and it's easier to keep it where you want it. Oops, let me try again. Got too loose. Okay. Now, I'm 
think I've got a better grip. And then I'll trim it. And there we go. And even um, put a whatever kind of holder you want on there. Like so. Now let's go to the next one. Where did I put you? I want this one to be wiggity wonkity like this. And then it will fold out like that to write on. And it doesn't really matter if it runs into the side because you have the nice hard stuff to write on. There you go on the second one. Grab the needle. Oh, first you got to put your holes in. Leave it to me to get ahead of the game, just in a bad way. You don't want to get ahead of the game when you're crafting. Not in this way, anyway. Okay, then. Okay, so I want this one going. Something like that. I kind of want it to stick out a bit. That's what I was thinking anyway. Like so. And then I'll be like a little tab too. You can see where this certain spot is. Now I'm going to take my pin. I think this will be an easier way to find my holes. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll see if that helps anything. And close it, and I'm just going to set it to the side while I poke the hole. Where's the other hole? I guess I didn't make the hole in that one. I sure thought I did it. Oh, because it didn't go all the way <laughs> It didn't go all the way through. Okay, where's my hole? Right there. Can you see it? Yep, I can see it. Alright, now we got that and we're going to come through the top. Like so. Go through the hole. I can see the other hole from the back, and I can just get right through. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Pull that out a little bit more. Now this will sit, you can see it through the other side, so you probably have to put something over the other side if you don't like how that looks. I don't know if I'm going to like how it looks or not. We'll just have to see. It's the first time I ever did it. I like trying all kinds of neat things in my books. Helps me learn something new every time. Okay, that one's in. We'll flip it together. i got a blue one in here. Blue one, and then I got a green one up here. Try this green one. And let's not have any more different colors. I have to pull the whole thing out. Hmm. Yep. Somewhat different. Alright, last one. I also have a new digital that is um let me make pink. Needle cut. Um it is a postcard 
vintage postcard. And I've had it for a while and just didn't want to do anything with it because it was so cool. And I thought, I could make that into a digital. There's no copyright. And it was of an individual. It wasn't like a mass-produced thing. So it was probably made back in, oh, I don't know, 20s or 30s. It's really cool. So y'all take a look at that. You can print it out. It's a digital. And they've already said that. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put this one going which way? And that one goes this way. And that one goes that way. That one goes this way? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure. Which way do I like it? Hmm. I like it this way. Okay. Make some holes. And I'll show you what it's supposed to create when I'm done. And we'll see. Around the top, through the bottom. That worked really good that time. Okay, around the bottom, through the bottom. on the pages. Pull you up. Pull you out. And I'm going to hold my finger there. And hold it on there. It's kind of tricky. You've got to on hand or a husband on hand or a friend this is the time to call them okay so here we go that's I'll show you what's supposed to happen now you can open this and write in that one then you can open that one and then you can open that one But, since you can see the back, I might decide to put something on the back. Yep, I might have to do that. Let's look at that. That's not pretty, is it? Okay, so if I keep that one down with some glue, then this one can go whatever way it wants. And this one can too. I don't know. I guess it really don't matter. Because it looks old. I'll have to give it some thought. But that's how that's supposed to go. I may just leave them popping up. That looks kind of cool. Or I might put these on. I'm going to put the purple one up here. Because it's purple. And then we have a... I'll just put this here. And then glue one down here because that one's blue. I like it just like that. It looks pretty. And then the recipient can write things up here, whatever they want. Or I'll decide to put something in there. I haven't decided today. Just too many things going on today. But I did get some really cool stuff up in the shop. And I hope you like this project. I really had fun doing it. Isn't it cool? Okay, so that is cool. And I'm just going to close it back up for now. It wasn't too much that we did on putting a lot of ephemera in, but that was all for today. So this woman's tired. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to tell y'all. There seems like there was more. That's all for now. See y'all later. Bye-bye.